hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliet i'm a food and lifestyle blogger in lagos nigeria so today you guys can see this yummy grilled croaker fish yeah i you know i have a video of a grilled catfish on my channel so today you can see this one i made i'm making this grilled croaker fish and the fish is so delicious i would like you guys to you know try this recipe okay yeah so this fish is so delicious so yummy everyone around you are really going to love it. and it's so simple to make okay so guys i'm going to be using you can see my ingredients on the table here i'm going to be using my croaker fish i'll be using my suya pepper yeah i'm going to be using salt to taste i'm going to be using fresh pepper that's that taro do i'm going to be using oil yeah this is my oil okay i'm going to be using maggi crayfish yeah so i'm going to be using lemon lime i use lime not lemon this particular one i'm using lime not lemon and then next i'm going to be using ginger my ginger is already clean and i'll be using onion okay so if you look at my fish very well you see that the fish is very very clean like it's been washed you can see you wash it inside make sure that there's no blood again inside the fish open it clean it well so that you can put your sauce and everything inside okay so guys you can see i'm using my von chef blender i'm going to be adding my onion now i will add my pepper and ginger together with it so everything is going to grind okay and then don't forget i'm not going to grind it till smooth i don't want it to be that smooth and I'm, i'll be adding a little bit of water for it to blend So now I'm transferring the pepper from the blender to the plates where I'm going to be mixing. Yeah, this is my mixing bowl for today. Okay, so I I, I didn't I didn't add all the pepper because I didn't want the thing to be too peppery, like too spicy. I know you guys know what I'm trying to say. So now I'm adding my soya pepper to it. You can see my soya pepper. So it makes very well. Next, I'm going to be adding my Maggi crayfish. That is my seasoning cube. So next, I'm adding my salt taste yeah so I guess this stuff is so it's very very slow so we gotta open it okay I had to open it to make the salt come out well don't be scared this salt is not too much mm? yeah so you mix well Actually, I didn't mix it here. So the next thing I want to do now is add my um, lemon to it, my lime. I squeezed it like I'm squeezing. You can see how much I'm squeezing it. Don't mind me, don't mind the seeds because while you are grilling, the seeds are definitely going to fall out. You're not going to hit seeds with them, so the seeds are definitely going to fall out. So I didn't bother removing the seeds.
So now, lastly, I'm going to be adding my granite oil to it. Now you can now mix everything very well. So after mixing well, I decided to add the last magic crayfish that I have in that plate. I know you guys can see it. I decided to add it because I tasted it and I felt like I needed one more to go, okay? So you can see that the fish is already washed i'm trying to show you you can see i'm trying to show you the inside of the fish the fish is very very clean so first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut it the way i'm cutting it right now you need to cut it so that the peppers the seasoning everything is going to go into the fish because you know definitely we are not marinating this fish because of time i'm not going to be marinating it if you want to marinate you can but I did not marinate mine and it tasted so good and if you marinate also it's also going to taste so good so just cut it like that and then you mix you, you had the pepper mix to it So you see this brush here I have here is what I'm going to be using to put the pepper on the fish okay that is going to be what we're going to use to rub the pepper on the fish
Hold up. <laughs> <laughs>